Hi everyone, I just want to give you a quick update on the uh, mission trip to the Lakota. If you don't know what I'm talking about, pause this video, head over to woodlandcbc.org. I believe under the uh, sermons on the heading of Revelation, there's a sermon we did back on September 29th of 2019 where it will bring you up to date on all of that. Fast forward now, today. Uh, just a few short weeks ago, we were planning on sending our first missions trip uh, to the Lakota. That is clearly on hold right now, uh, but I've been in contact with Glenn, and to give you an update on what's happening, the Boys and Girls Club is shut down. Fortunately, the tribal elders and leaders there have all agreed that they are doing their best to educate and keep everybody safe on the reservation by maintaining social distancing and keeping the kids at home and safe as well as their families. So that means we have about 200 kids that are not getting access to the Boys and Girls Club. That means after school care, academic programs, and of course the vital food program. So I approached Daniel one more time about how we can support the Lakota um, and what we want to do is partner with the Boys and Girls Club and just help them in this time to keep that food program going. It's so vital for the kids. They really depend on it and um, I know right now it might seem like a really strange time to reach out and help people who are so far away when right here at home we have people who might be having financial insecurity. Um, they might be having a tough time right now because of all of the things that are happening in the world and what this COVID-19 virus is doing to our society. And I think right now is a perfect time to continue the work that we're doing with the Lakota and reach out to them and help them with this food program. Um, if we have problems if we lose our job we can apply for unemployment if we're having trouble feeding our family we can reach out there are food banks popping up all over the place right now reaching out offering help to families and being a sovereign nation the Lakota just don't benefit from those type of things they don't have social programs coming to help them they don't qualify for unemployment they don't qualify for these relief checks that so many of us are waiting for and the other good news is that I asked Daniel, and he says right now in the church there are more people willing to help than there are people asking for help. So that's a good thing. That means that some of us can step up and be that light, uh, not just to our community, but to the Lakota and continue the work that we're doing with them. I think right now it's really important to continue to do that. What better way to get out of ourselves and focus on someone else and be of service and love somebody else. That's the best way to get away from fear and uncertainty and whatever we might be going through. And I'm having my struggles right now just like everybody else. Um, so one thing I think that keeps coming to mind right now during this time is uh, 2 Timothy 1.17 that says, um, I have not given you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind. And I think as Christians right now, we're all being called to be that light, um, not just for each other, but also for our community. And right now, definitely we can do that for the Lakota in a really special way by helping them supplement their food program, uh, which is just gonna help the kids and their families so much right now, probably more than ever. Um, another update for you guys, um, you recall a few weeks ago, we put a call out, or a few months ago, we put a call out for seed packets. The Boys and Girls Club has a community garden that they were working on, and we, as a church, came together and put together a box of so many seeds. I cannot even tell you these seed packets. There were dozens and dozens and hundreds of seed packets. And some of you also contributed uh, Lowe's gift cards. So the Boys and Girls Club, they're all set. They have their garden going. Uh, in the spring, they're going to be able to have awesome fruits and veggies that they're going to use to actually feed the kids there. So what they did is they actually had so many seed packets, they started handing them out to the community. So right now, all your seed packets are spreading all over the Rosebud Indian Reservation. And I thought that was such a cool metaphor for what we're actually trying to do with a Lakota. You know, right now, the coats that we donated, um, the seed packets, and even by 
offering to help supplement this food program. Those are all stepping stones. They're baby steps. It's laying the foundation to build a greater relationship with the Lakota because ultimately what we want to do is go out and make disciples, right? That's the ultimate goal, um, to share Jesus, to eventually one day be able to go on the reservation and openly share about Jesus and host like a vacation Bible school for the kids. Who knows, you know, what is possible in the future. But right now I think to stop our work with them, uh, wouldn't be a good idea. So I approached Daniel and if you're interested in helping, you can approach Daniel too. Uh, reach out to woodlandscbc.org or you can call Daniel or email Daniel. Um, I think it all goes to Daniel anyways. So uh, ask how you can uh, partner right now to supplement the food program. And even if you feel like you can't do that, uh, maybe just keep them in your prayers because they are truly a forgotten people right now. They're not benefiting from a lot of the things that are out there for the rest of us. And there are even some health experts saying that if steps aren't taken to educate and protect our Native American tribes across the United States, we could see some of the more vulnerable tribes get wiped out by this COVID-19 virus. So um, just something to think about, a little update on our missions trip with the Lakota. This is just something that's been on my heart. Obviously, you guys know this is a huge passion of mine um, ever since I came back from that climbing trip. Um, a while ago so I wanted to just share that and let you guys know that it's still something that's very much on the table we just don't know what the actual mission trip is going to look like and I think supplementing the food program right now could be a really great way to continue building that relationship and just being that light to the Lakota that we can be right now so think about it pray about it reach out to Daniel if it's on your heart and thanks for listening. Daniel told me I only have a few minutes, so that's it. Thank you.